Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with Miss Envy. Um, I'll put all of her information below so y'all guys can check her out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. She's much more um, active on Snapchat than me. I'm terrible at Snapchat. But we'll be, we will basically be doing a Q&A video. So if y'all guys want to see what that's about, stay tuned. Did you just see? Oh yeah, we just came back from eating. Shout out to Olive Garden for making us feel good. That food coma though. Oh, this living looks really nice. Okay, then I gotta repost. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, we got you got places to go. Okay. That's not what that face says. It's not really on your face. I think you can't see up close for like dry my life, sorry. Thank God. Yeah, because then you would see like... Crazy. Okay. I only have 20% battery, so we gotta do this. Um, I think I'm the one just staring at you. No, I'm the one staring at you because I'm being crazy. And now I'm pulling it up. We gonna answer some questions. So I'm just gonna read mine off of my post first and she's gonna read hers off of her post. First question, how did your parents react to you wearing makeup and do they support it? He says, cause his mom's been on him about it. And he's like, it's my face, it's my money. Okay, well for me, that's a little harder. It's definitely take them some coming around. Um, I won't go into the full story cause that's the one story. <laughs> yeah, but they've kind of come around to it a little bit more. They definitely don't follow me on any kind of social media. I don't show them pictures of stuff that I do on myself. I do show them pictures of stuff that I do on my other clients. You do it out of respect. Yeah, and I do it out of respect. Like I do it because I know that they don't completely enjoy it, but I also, it's my life and I'm not going to sit here and be miserable. So like, of course, like when I go see them, I wear some like mascara and brows and like a little concealer, but like I don't, like this, they never see me like this. Glossy. It's too glossy. It's too glossy. It's too glossy. Thank you, Urban Decay. Okay, next question. What do y'all get? Oh, she says, how do y'all get in at Sephora and how long have you been doing makeup? Um, do you want to answer that? <laughs> um, I think that, well, I mean, to get into Sephora, well, I mean, the general way is you just apply online. Like, you just apply, I mean, if it's a free setting Sephora, you apply at Sephora.com like you would at pretty much anywhere else. If you want to go to the one inside JCPenney's, you apply online there. Um, because it's such a small area, though, there's not a lot of, like, hiring. I mean, like, it's people stay on staff for a while, but... Yeah, it's yeah, an amazing job. Yeah, so, like, people amazing don't just, like, job. leave it all the time. So, I mean, if you want to be on, you just pretty much got to go online and apply. It's pretty much the biggest thing. Um, a little background, and it helps, but that's... Artistry can always be taught. Okay. Um, oh, and how long have you been doing makeup? I've been doing it for going on four years now in October. Um, I started when I started at Sephora um, in October of 2012. Uh, she started a couple months before me. When did you start? You love saying that. Like, I just know. so people know, like, she hasn't been doing it. Oh, no, I say it, no, I say it like that to mean, like, <laughs> like, you've been doing it longer than me. That's why I say it like that. I don't mean it like a few. She's, like, oh. uh, she's not that no. much of my senior. No. Like, she barely I mean. got there before. She taught me. There. No, that's what she's saying. That. When did you start? I've been doing makeup. You've been doing makeup way longer than that, though. Like, you've been at Sephora for almost four years now, yeah. but you've been doing makeup for, for no, before. Sorry. 2012. Yes, four. Um, but I've been doing it for a really long time. My background mainly is my mother. She's my so mother sweet. was an amazing makeup artist, and she was a model, and just kind of. I'm living my mother's life. So, um, but yeah, my background, it, and I didn't set out to be a makeup artist. I wanted to be a um, federal probation officer or a warden at a federal state penitentiary. Oh, that's cute. I have a degree. <laughs> she has a bachelor's in criminal justice, but she's a makeup artist. Yes. I wanted to do hair, so I assembled upon makeup as well, and I found that it's just, I'm much I love happier. it. I was gonna say, I like it so much more. I don't mind giving somebody a blowout styling. Yeah, it's just every day it can be something completely different. Yes. And she says, we have somebody else that says, do you ever judge your clients on how they look? 
what is my favorite genre of music and do I like to party? Um, so for the first part, do I plan, judge my clients on the way they look? Never, of course not. Now if you are trying to ask me to do something unrealistically obtainable, I'm gonna have a little hard time understanding how you want me to do that, but I'm never gonna judge you based on, you know, we all have our struggles, whether it be, you know, skincare or our eye shape. Like me, mine is my eye shape. Like I have the hardest time with my eyelids. So like, everyone's got something that they don't like and that they're working on. So it's not my place to point it out unless like, if it's like a skin concern and like, you know, I you know feel like we can help treat it, definitely I'm gonna be like, oh, have you tried this or something like that? But I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, you have a zip there and you have an angry one here there and your eyebrows aren't plugged. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just really, like, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, what is your favorite genre of music? I like to think I'm not Keeping C's Nicki Minaj. Yeah. And sometimes he thinks he's Britney Spears. <laughs> she's just a little short though for me. Like, yeah, it's very I mean, hard. but I, I, I feel like Iggy's like, like, yeah, then, yo, yeah, he loves Iggy's my, Iggy's my alter ego. Yeah. The way she looks, I don't like what she talks, it's really hard to understand her. It's hard to understand what she wants to play. But I don't know, my favorite music, what is that like? I do like Adam Lambert a lot. I like whatever's modern, like whatever's popular. Like I just put it on the radio. Today's hits on Pandora is the easiest. He lip sings, sings in the shower. Mm, only sometimes, mm, not all the time. He pretends he's a stripper in the shower all the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What's your favorite genre of music, Evie? I don't. I, I keep smiling on my lips like going out like this. I can't stop smiling. Um. I don't really want to say help I, right. I listen to all kinds of stuff. I listen to reggae. I just creep through her Pandora. It was literally everything. Yeah, it's like literally. I love Shuddy. I like island music because that's where I'm from. But I also like Texas music, whatever. I love Beyonce. Mm. Um, I think you else? Like, that's pretty much it. Like, if I was on a deserted island and I only had to listen to one artist, it'd be Beyonce. I about that. Every so, day, all day, twice on Sunday. <laughs> okay, also what advice would you give others that are interested in makeup? Well, if you mean as far as like trying to make a career out of it, definitely practice. Don't call yourself a makeup artist. Yeah, don't let some, let somebody be else, let somebody else be the first one to say you're a great makeup artist. Don't be throwing the word MUA around all the Just time. Just because your friend sat on your toilet and, and let you... Did. you <laughs> <laughs> just and put a little makeup yeah. on her. That's well, I mean, we're all artists. And you gotta start somewhere, of course, but just don't throw, like, yeah, just don't throw the word makeup artist around. It's it's a word that can easily be, like, I I had been doing makeup for almost three years before I started being able to comfortably kind of say, oh, and I don't even say I'm a makeup artist, I say I do makeup. Like, I'm like, oh, I'll do makeup, or like, occasionally, I'm like, oh, I'm a makeup artist, but. Oh, and don't, like, don't just throw everything into it at first, like, don't, Start slow. Yeah. Don't like Master. quit your job and be like, oh, I'm gonna do makeup forever. Yeah. And then if you're, uh, if you are trying to develop your skills in makeup artistry, um, best advice ever is to master certain um, aspects of makeup artistry first, which is like complexion, eyes, contouring, and highlighting. Like, don't rush into everything because yeah. then it just becomes a very confusing. Mess and it looks like it sometimes. Yeah. There are some people that are naturally talented that don't need a whole lot of instruction or you know guide. But I mean, if you're one of those people that just love it but it didn't come to you naturally, definitely build um, build it very slowly. I mean, your foundation, and your complexion is your yeah. first and most important. I yeah. Say. Clean slate. Yes. Face, mascara, and brows are like I have to. Like I started with face and then eyes came last and then lips. And care about your skin. Yes. Like, don't be, just put anything on it. Yes. And then, oh, yes. Don't just put anything they on it. They already know that. They hear me preach about that all Yes. The time. True makeup artists care about the canvas that they are, you know, portraying their art on. So, if care you are, about your skin. And, if you're painting on textured, textured piece of paper, like something with, you know, whatever to it, it's going to come out not as smooth as if you're working with a smooth piece of canvas. Is that the question? Let's see. What's something you struggle with in your makeup application? She says hers is powder highlighting. I'm not gonna lie, powder highlighting is like my absolute favorite. Y'all know how I go ham with that. Benai mixture, I'm sure if y'all see our get ready video, you're gonna see 
we really like to bake our under eyes. We love some highlighting powder. So that's definitely not my Shout struggle, out. right? Omrizi. Shout out to him. Omrizi. Not him. I always say it wrong. Omrizi. And every other queen that bakes her under eye. I just watch it. It's her. wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, what is your struggle with makeup application? Mine, which I feel like I'm doing better now, mine has always been my eyes, my specific eye shape. Having a very hooded lid, it's very, I've told you before, it's very hard, it's harder for me to work with. I feel like if you've got a shape like hers, or if you've got more of that open area, it's a little easier to create, but not necessarily easier, it's just, that was my struggle. Like, that's what I've had the hardest time working with, is my eye shape and my lips. But I just started wearing lipstick, like, this year, so it took me three years to get into it. What do you have the hardest time? I have always worn. I have always worn eyeliner my entire life, and I've always worn a wing, or wore a wing liner even as young as I think maybe fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Fifth grade, that was wearing yes, the black. And all my friends will tell you. Uh, but I think that eyeliner in general is a very like challenging thing. Mm -hmm. Like some months I'll be on point and my wing will be like to die for, and then I'll go. And you're like, uh, it's like this like big old fat I have a eye like that. The panda where it's the girl comes out with a black mask and she's yes. like, F it, I'll do blackface. <laughs> yes. Yes. Eyeliner so, definitely is hard. Eyeliner. Eyeliner is my challenge. I think that anything else is pretty much just based on your perspective. Yeah. I, I'm, I don't beat myself too much up about it. Blending. Yeah. Blend. If something's too dark, just go back with a lighter mm. color and blend it out. Yeah. Goes for contour, goes for eyeshadow, everything. Um, somebody says, what is the best product you've ever used? I can already say hands down Benai powder. Their powder that I use under my eyes all the time. I absolutely love it, but like I tell y'all, I hate that it has parabens, so Benai work on the formula. But as far as something that I would recommend for everyday <laughs> usage that you could use on a clean face and you wouldn't break out from, Probably my Estee Lauder double wear. Oh, I love that. Even though I've been doing the 15 hour wear from Smashbox, my double wear has been like that bad boy I can wear for 20 hours and it's gonna stay the same all day, every day. That's my favorite product. What's yours? It's gonna be one. I can't. I know. That's not possible. See, for me it was easy because it's complexion because I wear a lot of complexion, I don't wear a lot of eyes. Because like, I think in the last couple of years I've developed so much as an artist that everything means so much to me even like when everything. even when I'm running late it's like I'll just do this real quick and like no I'm not yeah, gonna do anything else do it, yeah. and then I'm like oh with the highlight oh, yeah oh my contour oh and that's probably a big thing too that I re I feel like I just I personally just recently got into like the last year's highlight like mm -hmm. mm, we love good highlighter yeah. that's all the questions I have on mine actually asked me it was on Instagram um, how do I get my hair so dramatically basically from one color to another. And Not then, once. Yeah. Um, and then it was like a two part question where she also wanted to know how I ended up so blonde again, or how am I able to be such dramatic colors and then be back to a dramatic blonde like I am. Um, and a lot of it is product. <laughs> what you use. Yes, what I use. I use um, a just really great uh, products like Pravada, Joyco, what was my other one? Lanza is a really great chemical oh, yeah, that's, conditioning that's treatment. That one, that um, I I have you know the the benefit of knowing a lot of people that do hair that are completely talented and amazing um, artists in that aspect. Shout out to the hair fairy Jen Vasquez. Um, but you know a lot of it is experimental. But I do say that when you decide to go to a dramatic color, um, make sure that you know what you're going to do three steps ahead after you're done with that dramatic color. So I feel like I've always been really strategic about my colors for that fact. And I knew that purple was a very uh, basic, you know, neutral color. Um, and it was easy to add colors on top of that. And that's where I started is that lavender-ish gray silver mm -hmm. like, yeah, that like everybody the was in with, love like, with. Lilac, yeah. That was my very first color because I knew that I wasn't even gonna end up developing into another color later. Um, and that was the safest color to start. And then I went from cotton candy, hot pink um, after that. 
and then naturally everybody knows I went to my famous red. Um, those colors pretty much corresponded with each other and I pretty much already knew where I was going before I even started. Yeah. Um, and then stripping my hair after six, seven months of being a redhead, uh, red on top of red on top of red, um, that was challenging. I was say, that's probably the hardest part, this one, going back from red to blonde. Um, but again, it's all about product, and I use the Pravana Hair Stripper. Um, it's an amazing product, but also the reason why I feel like that probably worked the best was because I had a lot of Pravana color in my hair as well. So it knew, like, I felt like those combinations of products together, they are made by the same people, so they really can identify with each other, so they're made for them. You know, um, so it worked out really well. Jenny started, my hairdresser started the process, and then from there, um, read. We kind of add on. Yes. <laughs> and change it up and refresh it every couple weeks and stuff like that. Um, and then, I guess from that point, um, a lot of it is treating your hair well. You can't do high maintenance colors without it the costing. High maintenance. It's um, be high maintenance. And I wouldn't recommend everybody doing it on their own at home. Um, we've been kind of messing with hair and um, being little mad scientists for a while. And I did it by myself before him and I became friends. He did it before him and I became friends. And then we met in the world of beauty, like just. And we just all have our, our, our all of our, our knowledge <laughs> and trial and error person. process too. If you're going from you know, like, well, any color to another color, for the most part, it's not going to be able to be, unless you're going a darker color or a darker color on top of what you already have, you've got to do it in more than one process. Like, even whenever she went blonde, she wasn't this blonde right at first. She was, like, a real kind of, like, darker blonde, and then you've got to bleach it, you know, the roots again as it touches up and strip the ends. So it's a process. Same way whenever I went from blue to gray, which I've stayed gray forever. You just have to know how to rock the in-between stages. And find out something that's going to be good, like, Work as an in-between color. Don't be that orange brassy color. Please. Just, Toner. just throw, just throw a light brown on top of it for the next three weeks. Yes. And when you're putting color on top of bleached hair, use no lift or tin volume. You gotta answer really fast. Okay. We're gonna answer these last few really fast because she's somewhere she has to go. Okay. And I have Netflix. It's calling my name. And my new kitty. I'll show y'all guys soon. Cause y'all know that little mama. Okay, so I'm gonna read these while you find these. Okay. In a zombie apocalypse, what would be your weapon of choice? Mm. I don't like that question. I don't like zombies. But she asked, so we have to answer. I don't watch any I don't, zombie movies. I don't, honestly. I would hide. I would be a hider. I would hide underground. I would hide underground, hide. find someone with a hot spot, Wi-Fi, no, hide under a Starbucks. You would have to literally come for me. Yeah, that's, that would be my like, tactic for I zombie would, apocalypse. Like, I would only handle it as it goes along. Yeah. That's, no. I would hide and then help That's help save the world. That's my worst fear. Yeah, no, I oh. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't even know what I would fight back. With. I have no idea. Uh, would you rather have a lifetime supply of extensions or a lifetime supply of eyeshadows? Extensions. I was gonna say extensions all day because I mean eyeshadows. I mean, yeah, cheaper ones are not that great, but even if you had to, I mean, you can use whatever kind. Like, but extensions, you can all tell the long. difference between a four hundred dollar head of hair and a sixty dollar. Okay, um, this next one was for me. It says, Reed, how did you lose so much weight and keep it off? Well, I'm going to be doing a whole specific little series over my weight loss uh, transformation, which if you guys didn't know beforehand, I have lost 100 pounds in the last, I guess, a little over a year. I'm um, about eight months, and the rest of it has been pretty much maintenance. Okay, I'm trying. So the rest of it has been pretty much just maintenance, but I'll be doing a more in-depth video. Um, easiest way to put it is that I've been maintaining. I've been I still do what I did to lose the weight, but just less often to just keep where I'm at. You can't go crazy and then stop. Like you can't do He's amazing very skincare. very responsible. I would say I try and say and very patient. You have to be both of those. Yeah, things. and you have to be realistic. If you're yes. you're only working out once a week, you know, and eating kind of whatever you want, you're not going to see the results as if you work out three times a day, or not three times a day. I'm sorry. Like if you work out like four or five times a week and you eat really healthy, you'll notice much better results. Are you a top or a bottom? Well, I mean, if anybody would like to know, I'm a bottom. <laughs> sure, girl. That's the only way it Oh, no! No, not technically. No. It's pegging. I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Reed, are you a top or a bottom? Well, 
Would you? Are you okay? I'm okay. Start? It's alright, I have enough foundation on you can't see me blushing. You can't see me. You can't see me. Okay, it's just, make sure you're Okay, well, um, simplestly put, I guess the most experience I've had, I've been on the bottom bunk. And uh, I'm not opposed to either or, but I don't think with a little experience that I have had. It's not fair. Hold on. He hasn't had any real. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> like, by experience. I mean, I don't really. Really? I don't. I don't. How do you count? say? Uh, which ice cream do you, you like? If, if you really haven't eaten ice cream, you've really never really eaten ice cream. Exactly. So that's why I said I've only done one specific thing, but I'm down for either or. And that's like not the last year or two or three. It's kind of literally like, like lifetime. One. Oh yeah. Never really had ice cream. Oh. Really? Ever? One ice cream cone for the whole life. <laughs> Yeah. So you know. So he doesn't know what his favorite ice cream is right now because he hasn't we'll had see. enough ice cream. We'll see. We'll see how this ice cream. I think he's goes. open to new flavors. To some new flavors. <laughs> maybe some chocolate. Maybe some strawberry. Never mind. Pistachio. There's Mexican ice cream. He mm -hmm. prefers Mexican crema. <laughs> Dark skin, light eyes. Mm -hmm. Denim. Oh, do you play for the NBA? Pretty much it. That's all my yeah, that's, that's all the questions we have. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like and comment below and let like me know in that. Like and comment. Yes, and uh, let me know in that comment section what else you guys are wanting to see, Be some nice. other videos that y'all are wanting to see, what y'all thought about this yes. stuff. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe and share button so your friends can see these videos as well. <laughs> and remember, it's your life. Make it beautiful. Thanks so much for- oh, I don't want to wave at the last part. <laughs> Hi! He's Hi! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel! How you doing? That's it! <laughs>